Hey back squad, what it do what it do? If y'all wanna watch this video of how I got arrested for the first time and hear this tea, then watch this full video through. Smash that like button because this story is gonna get cray cray. Alright, let's get it. Hey back squad, what it do what it do? It's your girl Becky in the cut. If you're new to my channel, welcome to my channel. Subscribe below if you wanna be part of Becky Squad. Hit that bell if you want to get post notification shout out and a share notification shout out. And so you also don't miss a thing by me. So today's video is obviously going to be like the title says below. How I got arrested for the first time. Yeah, it's going to get crazy. Oh my god. I hate going back to this story. But like I said, I have so much stories to tell you guys and to share. So that being said, let's get into this crazy story of how I got arrested. And before we get into this video... Smash that thumbs up button below, show that love, and y'all, please do your girl that favor, show her that love that you got for her. Alright, let's get it. Okay, guys, so let's go back to when I was 21. Right now, I'm 27, but when I was 21, I was going to Montreal with <laughs> an ex and his boy, and I was also going to check my grandma. Because she lives in Montreal and also the rest of my family lives in Montreal as well. So that being said, we we're heading into Montreal. But before we headed up there, we got some drinks to go on road with. Like obviously beer, liquor. You're not supposed to drink and drive. But like I said, we got it for me and his boy. But I was there thinking my boyfriend at the time wasn't going to drink like that. Right? So we got all that. And I had my cushions, which is weed. So I had that, and I also brought my bong. My bong ziggity ziggity. It's like a big bong, like probably like this tall or whatever. And I had it in like the front seat. It was my Bob Marley bong. So I remember bringing that up with us, and the ride was pretty fun. The first couple of hours, and to get to Montreal, it takes like I believe seven hours from where I am. So during the ride. We were all like just sipping out some drinks and smoking. And my boyfriend at the time was also doing the same. I'm not sure what else they had brought at the time when I was in the car, but I would get into that after when I got arrested. But that being said, so we're driving up there, and at the time, my ex used to love to race people on the highway, which used to get me so pissed off because I already got in a huge accident with him months prior. So February 12, 2013, I got in a bad car accident with him because he used to drink and drive. So I was telling him, you shouldn't be drinking. I don't want you drinking and driving to Montreal. Like, this is crazy. We're gonna get pulled over. And he also used to like to race people. So, like I said, so he was racing people on the highway. So, I'm there thinking, we're going to get pulled over. Like, there's no way we're going to Montreal like this and not getting pulled over on the highway. There's so much OPP on the highway, right? So, at one point in the drive, when he was racing someone, I realized in the rear mirror, like, you know that side mirror? So, I realized in the side mirror that there was a car that was following us for the past... I could say probably 20 minutes and obviously you don't really realize things like that but when you see a car literally following you into every lane then you realize oh it's a fed obviously so I'm here saying to him oh my god I think like a cop is like following us this that he like freaks out on me like literally freaks out and is like shut up be dumb be like you always do this you always trying to um cause an argument whenever we're like Jeremy always trying to tell me what to do. If I want to drink, I can drink. If I want to raise people, I can raise people. I'm like, we've already got an accident like this before. Like, I ain't trying to be in another accident. I was like so pissed off. So at that point, he like threatened me and whatever to like hit me or like he's gonna drop me on the side of the highway. So I was like, what the fuck? So I was like, okay. So I just stay quiet in the car and just let him drive. But in the back of my mind, I was like so paranoid because I was like, oh. Like, this guy doesn't even understand that like, he literally got in a car accident and made me take the fall for it, like, months prior. And I literally had a neck brace and couldn't move my neck. So, if he doesn't care, then watch after this sort of thing, right? So, 
we pulled over to a gas station that was on the side, you know, you can go off the ramp, the highway into the gas station. So there's one of those gas stations on the side, but I was telling him, I don't think it's a good idea to stop here. There's one closer to my grandma's because we were near my grandma's house, but we weren't close to her. Like we were probably in Cornwall, near Cornwall at the time. If you guys don't know where Cornwall is, it's probably like two hours away from Montreal. So we already drove like five, five hours or so. So we're in Cornwall right now at the gas station. And when we pull in the gas station, who do we see? That OPP that been following us pull in as well. So when we pull in, I was like, okay, let me get out of the car. I'm going to go call my grandma and let her know we're coming. Let me find out the address because at the time his phone also died and I didn't know where the hell I was going because I don't know how to get in Montreal like that to my grandma's says without GPS. So I was like freaking out and so I come out the car, go, wow, my lights are ashy, do not watch that. So I come out the car and call my grandma and when I call my grandma, I realized that the Fed is just staring at us, staring at him, like we were the, literally the only ones in the gas station. So. I go back to the car and I'm telling him, like, he's looking at us, let's go, I don't think we should be here, like, you know, I was, like, very paranoid at the time. So he was like, yeah, get in the car, we're gonna go anyway. So when he's leaving, he's, like, staring at them like this. And I'm like, why are you staring at them? Like, you're literally gonna cause heat to the car. So I was just annoyed as F because he was doing all these things to attract, like, attention to our car so i was just getting so pissed off and he was like driving slow in a sense so after that we drive for like probably 15 minutes literally 15 minutes and the same car is following us but besides that same car is the next car that's an suv but i already knew it was an undercover cop an undercover opp should i say so I already knew we were gonna get pulled over once I seen two of them there. So when I seen two of the feds behind us, an SUV and an actual OPP car, I was like, what the You need to pull over because we're gonna get we're gonna get arrested. You need to pull over. And he's like, I'm not pulling over. You're not gonna tell me what to do. He keeps freaking driving for at least five minutes. And I'm like, pull over, like we're really gonna go to jail right now. So he pulls over. He pulls over and I see a lady come out the SUV. So she's coming right onto my side. So on my heart is being like doo doo, doo doo, doo doo. And I'm like, oh my gosh, like she's like roll down your window. So I roll down my window and she's there asking for the driver's name, which is my boyfriend, and at the time and he lied. To her about his name so that was first mistake he did so if you guys if you ever get pulled over don't lie about your name because they will catch you somehow they will catch you i don't know how sometimes they will catch you so he gave his name and well his fake name but at the time um he has two different names because he came from the country so he has a name that he had when he was born in the country and then he has a name when he came to Canada. I don't know if you guys get what I mean. But basically he used his other name, so his dad's name. So when he did that, they're like, oh, I know you're not that person. Um, you're lying. And he, they said, what's your real name? And then when he gave his ID, it showed a different name, obviously. And the car was registered under the other name he used, which is his dad. So they caught on real quick and told us to come up the car. And they told me what, they asked me what I had in the front seat and they told, and they just showed her. And then she literally like took my bomb and like threw it in the forest or something, I don't know. But I was like, oh my God, like we are definitely getting arrested. So after that, when she threw my bomb, she tells us all to come up the car, she's searching us. She's asking if I have anything on me. I'm telling her no. And then they decide to search the car. So at this point, I'm freaking out because I don't know exactly what his boy had or brought. And I don't know what my ex brought to Montreal. So when they search the backseat, they come back and they're like, whose mirror is this? And they make mirror. 
I'm like, who brought a mirror, like a circle mirror that's in the back seat? And it wasn't mine. Honestly, God, it wasn't mine. It was his boy's mirror. So he admitted to that. And then they're like, okay, so if it's your mirror, who, what's all this white stuff? You guys know what I'm talking about. And I was like, say honest to God. And at that point, I was freaking out because I was like, I don't do that. Like, now I'm caught up in a situation. I know how much time people get for that. So I'm there freaking out because my son is back home with my mom while I went to go check my grandma. So I'm there freaking out like, oh my God, tell them it's yours. Like, what the hell? Like, why did you guys bring that? This, that. This is when, like, we literally get put in the car because... My ex got put in the OPP car and me and his boy got put in the SUV together. So I'm telling his boy, like, why did you guys bring that? Whose thing is that? Um, does, like, my ex do it? Like, why? Well, I said, does my boy, like, my boyfriend, I'm not going to say his name, but I'm like, does he do it? Like, tell me right now, be honest. Like, I'm not going to get mad. I'm just going to leave. And he, he admitted that, like, he was doing it with him. So I was, like, so pissed at the time. I was so pissed because literally I did not know he was doing that and I just felt like I got sucked into something and I was so blinded about it and I was just blinded about a lot of things at the time but I was just like this is why he always like try to get aggressive with me out of nowhere this is why he always tried to threaten me and act off here and there like it was just so weird like I always had a feeling but I never really acted but then when I found that out, and they took us to the station, they strip searched me and everything. Alright guys, and at the time I really thought I did not have anything on me until like they literally butt strip searched me. Like I was naked. And um, a popper piece, if you guys don't know what that is, it's something like this. It literally fell out my bra. And she's like, oh what is that? How can you hit that for me? And the cop was like getting mad with me and I'm like, what the hell? Like, honestly, I didn't even know that was in there. So I got put in a cell for like a couple of hours. And then they were just going back and forth of who's who, who's what, like who's whatever it was, is. And I was telling them, it's not mine. I'm not taking the fall for someone else's crap. That's for sure. This, that. But at the end of this all, I didn't get the fall for it. My ex took the fall because he ended up admitting it was his. And his boy said that he already did his whatever. So I was just like, okay, so he didn't take the fall for it. And he couldn't because his parents did not know anything what he was doing. And he was not supposed to be with my ex at the time because they both had like a charge together or something. They're the co cues so they could not be together. So that being said, the cop ends up letting me go, ends up letting his boy go. But, do you know what they did to me? Do y'all know what they did to me? They dropped my ass to a gas station in the middle of nowhere. And I had to find my way home. Thank God for baby bonus that night. Because baby bonus comes in at 12. And I had no money to get home. Literally. So I had to, like in the beginning I didn't know that well for, I mean, I didn't know that baby bonus was coming that night so I was there panicking at the gas station saying to his friend how are we gonna get home from Cornwall like we're hours away from home we both have no money we got dropped here out of nowhere like first we need to go to Montreal because it's the closest and then get a ride from Montreal back to Toronto so at that point we're just figuring out plans and then last second God freaking helped me because he put change in my account and I got a way for us to go to Montreal and then from Montreal back home to Toronto. But it was the long ass trip, guys. It was the worst time of my life. Uh, like, honestly, that was the first time I ever got arrested. And I wasn't even arrested. I just got put in a holding cell. But either if it was the worst experience, I don't ever want to be in an experience like that again. If you guys have any experiences like this that you just got caught up with the wrong crowd, let me know below. But if you guys ever are in that position that you're in the wrong crowd, honestly, get out as soon as possible when you know that you are in the wrong spot at the wrong time sort of thing. But that being said, we did get home safe. Thankfully, 
I didn't take a random ride at the gas station because I'm not gonna lie, there was like a trailer truck guy that kept asking if I needed a ride. And I was like, why is he asking me if I need a ride every two seconds? So I was like creeped out. But anywho, thank God I'm safe. Thank God I didn't actually stay in jail. And thankfully, I'm not with that person anymore. But that being said, that is my first time getting arrested. If you guys like this story, smash that thumbs up button below. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and join the family. But that being said, this girl's out. And I got more story times for y'all. Right. <laughs>